The Shaywitz Dyslexia Screen is a reliable, evidence-based dyslexia screening tool that utilizes QGlobal, Pearson's web-based platform for test administration, scoring, and reporting to deliver a simple classification of dyslexia risk for professionals. To get started, navigate and log into qglobal.pearsonclinical.com using your established username and password. Once logged in, users are automatically navigated to the Examinee tab of the home screen, where they will see all of the examinees saved to their account and have the ability to create profiles for new examinees and start the assessment process. If you will be administrating the screener to a larger group, like all of the kindergarten and first graders at a school or district, you can import the examinees into your account by using the Manage Examinee Imports option under the More Actions button. This data needs to be uploaded on a .csv file in a specific order, and you can find a template with detailed examples in the About QGlobal folder in the resource library. After your examinees have been entered into QGlobal, you can assign the screener from either the home screen or on the examinee's detail or profile page. For this example, I'm going to focus on assigning the assessment from the home screen, as both methods are nearly identical. To assign the screener, select the examinee in the examinee table, and then click on the Assign New Assessment button to open the assessment window. Here, locate the Shaywitz Dyslexia Screener, select the Form 1 option for Kindergarten or Form 2 for First Grade, and then select the Assign button to assign the assessment to the examinee, and to navigate to the Assessment Details page. The Shaywitz Dyslexia screen is administered digitally by either the on-screen or remote on-screen administration methods. The on-screen administration method allows you to administer the screener on the computer that you are logged into and have assigned the assessment on, while the remote on-screen administration method allows you to send the assessment to a third party, allowing them to complete the assessment on their own web-enabled device. To start an on-screen administration, scroll down to the Demographics tab to select the grade and enter the school and teacher. After this information has been added, click the Start Assessment button. Clicking this button results in a window appearing, reminding you to make sure that your testing device is secure anytime you provide a third party with access to it. When you are confident that the device is secure, click the I Acknowledge button to open up a new tab on your web browser that contains the assessment. To start a remote on-screen administration, click on the Remote On-Screen Administration radio button. Selecting this option allows you to determine how long the assessment URL will be active, who the individual completing the form is, and the respondent's name and email address. After making these selections, select the grade, enter the teacher and school, and then click the Preview Email Invitation button to navigate to the Preview page. On the Preview page, you can use one of the system-generated templates or you can modify the body of the email to create your own custom email. When you are ready to send the invitation, click on the Send Invitation button to send the URL to the respondent. When the respondent receives and opens the email, they will see the assessment URL and upon clicking on it, will be navigated to the assessment. Within the assessment, the rater will be presented with the test instructions before being presented with test items. On pages with test items, respondents will click on the appropriate scale response and will only be able to progress to the next page when all of the page test items have been completed. If the rater is unsure of how to respond to a specific test item, there are guides available in the resource library that provide detailed examples. After all the test items have a response, the rater will be directed to an end of assessment page, letting him know that the assessment has been completed and that the assessment can be closed. After the assessment has been completed, log back into QGlobal and generate the report from either the Report tab of the home screen, from the Individual's Examinee Details page, or from the Assessment Details page. All three methods are nearly identical, and with this in mind, we're going to look at generating the report from the Report tab. On this page, you can generate a report for either a single examinee, or you can generate a report for more than one examinee, 
allowing you to generate a group report. To generate a report for a single examinee, click on the individual's name in the examinee table, select the completed assessment, click on the report configuration button, and then select the report type. Doing this results in the report configuration window appearing, allowing you to select the report format, view both the required and available inventory, and select the desired inclusion criteria. After you have made your selections, click the Generate Report button to generate the report and download it to the Downloads folder of your computer. To generate a group report, select the Generate Report type that includes more than one examinee, enter the Shaywitz Dyslexia Screen Group Report in the search bar, select the assessment name, and then click Search. Clicking the Search button results in a table appearing, displaying all the examinees who have had the Shaywitz assigned to them. Here, select the completed assessments and then click the Report Configuration button to open the Report Configuration window. On this window, make your format and inclusion criteria selections and then click the Generate Report button to submit the report for processing. Processing the report will vary depending on the number of reports selected and will show a completed status when it is ready for download. When the report is ready, click the download link to download the report to the downloads folder of your computer. If at any time you need additional assistance when using QGlobal, please utilize the help link. Thanks for watching.